Hello and thank you for purchasing Care's Premium Potty Training Watch. My name is Amin and in this video I'm going to be showing you exactly how to set up your brand new watch. Before we begin charging the battery of this watch, please keep in mind that this watch is water resistant, however it is not waterproof. So do not submerge this watch in water. For example, do not swim with this watch. And also avoid contact with hot water in order to increase the longevity of this watch. We're going to flip this watch around slowly Take the middle part out of the strap and you're going to find yourself a USB output on the other end of the watch. Now we can enter that into any USB input and it should begin charging. You can use your phone, charger, you can use your laptop, your computer, pretty much anything. And if you enter your watch into the USB input correctly, it is going to begin charging and you will see that on the screen of the watch. However, if you did not enter it correctly, go ahead and flip it around and try again. And pretty much you will know when it is charging because there will be indication on the screen of the watch that it is charging up and the battery percentage will be shown. Now, if you are if you try that and the watch is not charging or it's popping out constantly, go ahead and try a different input because the problem is the input. So try your computer instead, try your laptop instead, anything else. And also please note that this watch does turn off a 10% battery in order to save its settings. If it reaches 0% battery, the settings will reset. So go ahead and avoid that by regularly charging the watch. That is really the only thing this watch requires is similarly to your smartphone, daily charging. Pretty much the battery lasts about 24 hours, same as any smartphone when it is in regular use. And also only takes about 30 minutes to charge the watch. So please keep that in mind and go ahead and regularly charge your watch. Please keep in mind that all operations are either completed by a short press, which is tapping the small circle at the bottom of the screen of the watch, or a long press, which is holding down that small circle. Now, in order to see the time of the watch, you're going to short press once. To see the battery percentage, short press twice. To set the time on the watch, we're going to short press once to see the time then we're going to long press to change the time and we're going to let go once the screen display changes and now the number on the left will count up to five and we'll short press once when it reaches five short press again when the number on the right reaches five this is the password screen so the password is always 55 and you're not going to be asked to enter it for the next three minutes it is used to prevent your child from easily changing the settings so now we short press until we get to our desired hour for our time and once we get there, we long press to confirm the hour. Now we short press for the minute of the time and we long press to confirm the minute. And now the time is set to 6.10 p.m. To change the display color, we're going to short press three times to see the changing colors, then long press to make a change, and then short press and flip through the colors and then long press on the color you'd like to confirm and change to. This is a setting that does not require a password and I encourage you to tell your kids to play around with the setting if they want to play around with the watch. To switch between vibration and melody, short press four times to see SO, which stands for sound, long press to make a change, and short press between one and two. One is melody, two is vibration, and long press to confirm whichever mode you'd like. Now here I was not asked for a password because I recently entered a password. If you're asked for a password, refer back to the time setting. I begin showing you how to set the timer on the watch, I'd like you to know that you have two options when it comes down to using this watch to potty train your child. One is using the 16 alarms and the other our smart timer. I strongly encourage you to use our smart timer for much easier setup. However, if you need to set alarms for specific times, then the alarms is for you. And you can go ahead and skip out on this section of the video. Now, short press five times to get to the CD screen. This is the timer screen, and we long press to make it change. And now you have the option of turning the timer off, setting it to 30 minutes, 45, 60, 90, or two hours. And we're going to get our to our option that we'd like to set, and we're going to long press. Here, I set it to 30 minute timers. Now the watch will automatically go off every 30 minutes. 
Now I'm going to begin setting the start and end time of the timer. And this is a feature that no other watch in the market has and it is what makes our timer smart. So to give you an idea on how it works, let me give you an example on the way I've set up my watch. So here I've set up a 30 minutes timer in the previous setup. And now we're going to set a start time of 10.45 a.m. and the end time of 10.45 p.m. So every morning at 10.45 a.m. the watch will go off and then it'll keep going off every 30 minutes afterwards automatically until 10.45 p.m. So as opposed to other watches on the market, you're not gonna have to worry about getting up every morning and setting up the timer or stopping it at night so it doesn't disturb you at night. You set it up once and it'll work automatically until you turn it off. And now we're going to short press six times to get to the STED screen to make this change. STED stands for start and end time. Once we're at the STED screen, we're going to long press to make a change. If it asks you for a password, refer back to the setting of the time screen. Now we're going to long press again to make a change to start time. Short press until we get to our desired hour for the start time of the timer. Long press to confirm the hour. Here I'm trying to set it to 10.45 a.m. So I'm going to flip through the minutes as well and long press once it gets to 45. Now this is the end time and I'm going to long press to make a change to it. I don't want it to be 8.35 p.m. I want it to be 10.45 p.m. So I'm going to short press until I get to the desired hour. Long press to confirm. Short press the minute as well. And long press to confirm 10.45 p.m. So now here I've set the timer of the watch to 10.45 a.m. for start time, 10.45 p.m. for end time. Now we're going to begin setting the alarms on the watch. If you've already set the timer on the watch, go ahead and skip out on this part of the video. And we're going to begin by hitting long press to enter the alarm screen. We see alarm one here. We're gonna long press again to make a change to it. Now I'm gonna begin by entering the password. So before we start setting all these alarms, please go ahead and write down the alarm times you like to set for up to 16 alarms because it'll make things much easier for you during the setup. Now once I've entered the password of 55, I'm going to flip through setting the alarm one from off to on and I'll long press on on to confirm. Now I'm going to set the time for the alarm one. Here I'm going to be flipping through the time by hitting short press for the hour and then hitting long press to confirm my change. And now I'm going to short press the minute and then hitting long press to confirm my change again. So here I set the alarm 1 to 10 a.m. As you can see, it is being confirmed and shown here. So I'm going to go ahead and set up alarm 2. Same process again. I'm only going to show you alarms 1 and 2. The same process can be repeated for up to 16 alarms. Here I'm turning the alarm on once again, flipping through the hour for alarm 2 and confirming by hitting long press. Same process repeated for the minute of the hour. Hitting long press and alarm two has successfully been set to 11.30 a.m. Now to turn off the alarms that we just set, we're going to long press when the screen display is completely turned off to enter the alarm screen. Similarly as before, we're going to long press again on alarm one. And now we're gonna flip it from on to off by hitting short press. Once it gets to off, I'm going to hit long press to confirm. Same process can be repeated to up to 16 alarms and I'm going to show you alarm 2 as well here. So always when you want to enter the alarm screen, please hit long press when the screen display is completely turned off and then you can make these changes to the alarms. Now to mute the melody or the vibration, we're going to simply short press the screen once. Each of them sound for 30 seconds. So here as you can see, I set it up to vibration. And if you set it to melody, same thing will happen. It'll go off for 30 seconds. And if you want to mute it, you can simply short press once. Thank you for watching and please contact us on Amazon if you have any questions or concerns.